This week we begin to read Vayikra, the book of Leviticus, which describes the different sacrifices. And one sacrifice was a sin offering. And there were different sin offerings depending on who the person was who committed the sin. You could have a sin that was done by the entire community. You could have a sin that was committed by a regular individual or a sin that was committed by the Kohen Gadol, the high priest. And then a sin that was committed by a leader, a nasi, a king. And there the Torah has a very interesting introduction. It says, Asher nasi yecheta. When the prince sins, he should bring the following sin offering. A sin offering was only brought if a person sinned inadvertently. They didn't realize that what they were doing was forbidden or they somehow forgot. And here the commentators are bothered by it. Why does the Torah say when a, a, a leader sins? Why does it use that word asher? In regards to all of the rest of them, it says the word ki, if. Here it says asher. So some people want to suggest that the word asher means when. It's not a question of if it will happen. It's a question of when it will happen. When a person has incredible power and control, it's almost inevitable that that person is going to make a mistake. And therefore, the, the, the Torah says, when the leader sins, he will have to bring a sacrifice. But Rashi gives us the following fantastic interpretation. And he says that the word asher comes from ashrei, which means praiseworthy. Praiseworthy is the leader who commits an inadvertent sin and is big enough to admit to his sin and to bring a, a sin offering. And if he's, if he's prepared to admit to an inadvertent mistake, then certainly he's going to admit to doing something that is wrong. Now, this is very, very unconventional because one would have thought the Torah would say, you know what, praiseworthy is a leader who never sins. That's what's praiseworthy. But the Torah doesn't say that. It realizes that people in positions of, of power are very likely to sin because they're arrogant, because they're powerful. So the question is not whether they're going to sin or not, but how they react when they do something wrong. And therefore the Torah says, praiseworthy is the leader who's prepared to admit to his mistakes. We live in a world today where so many leaders, especially political leaders, are completely corrupt. Power has got to the head. Money has got to the head. They can just do so many things wrong, and they deny it. They say, I never did anything wrong. Here the Torah says, no, on the contrary. We realize you're in a position of authority. You are going to make mistakes. But what will make you great? When you admit to it. This is something that was incredible about King David. King David was a great king. He was a great warrior. He made some serious mistakes. And he was rebuked by the prophets for his mistakes. And about every single one, he admitted it and he was remorseful. And that's truly what made him a great leader. Please God, we should have leaders of this caliber in our generation. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.